Let's have a look at modifying field access to specific fields for a user. I've logged on here and you'll see on my status bar I've logged on as a user Susan. If I go to the customer record for example, now this works with any any field anywhere in, in the application. You just need to work out the security roles associated with the user and what you're modifying. I'll randomly pick a field here for example. So you'll see we have a field called company chain um, so for example if you didn't want this user to be able to see that field uh, for some reason there might be data in there that's sensitive now that could be something else credit limit or, or something like that but in this case I'll just do uh, company chain I'm going to switch across to the other connection I have which is admin so I'm logged on here as admin so let's go and have a look in system administration I'm going to go and find the user so I'll search for Susan and we'll have a look at Susan's record so you'll see that Susan is associated with the sales manager role and is a system user so more than likely her permissions are coming from the sales manager for the functionality she has so let's have a look at this role. Now I can do it from here or I could go to the system administration to find the role again but seeing I can access it from here I'm just going to click edit role. Now this gives me all of the duties that I can see in this role but we have this option to override permissions. So if I click on override permissions this will give me the ability to look at the tables that are associated with that role. So if I scroll down through the list, uh, I can find the cust table. So cust table is the table that stores the customer record. Now if you're not sure which table or what the field name is, you want to have a look at if you've got access to that field I'm going to open a customer record here and you want to use the personalization feature so if we scroll down for that field uh, which is under company chain here for example if I right click I can go personalize and from here you can see the table name and then the field name so cus table is is the table and then company chain ID is the field that I want to control. So you can use that anywhere in AX to find uh, the field that you want to secure. Okay so let's go back to our override permissions. I've found the cust table and if we have a look through this should be alphabetical then we'll find the company chain ID. Now you'll see I can't override it. Um, so there's a little bit of a trick to this. First you have to go to the table and choose override. Now you want to note what the access was before you choose override. So let me turn this back on. So you'll see that's as full control. But if I turn this off it'll default back to no access. So I'm going to set the table back to full control which will restore all the relevant permissions but still give me the ability to override. So I'm now going to go and find my company chain ID and you'll see by default that's edit in the standard role but I'm going to turn that to no access for example or you could make it view or uh, what, what have you so in my case just to make it obvious I'm going to turn it to no access so by closing this security role we will save that and I'm going to leave Susan open because we're going to come back and have a look at the effect here so let's log back in um, so this is Susan. I'm going to close the client so that we refresh the security now that change has been made. And let's log back in. Alright, if we now have a look at customers, and again I'm logged in here as Susan, I'll pick a customer, and you'll see that um, in this role the field can't be seen. So we've taken it away by overriding that uh, permission. Now you need to be careful with security roles if a user has multiple roles um, 
then another role may give them uh, permission to that field. So you need to look at it holistically. So let's have a look at the example. So Susan here, uh, when I change back over to Administrator, has Sales Manager. I'm going to give Susan another role, which is Sales Clerk, for example. And Sales Clerk has the permission to view that field. So Sales Clerk will add that back. So now Susan has two roles. If we switch back over to Susan and we log back in and we have a look at customers or pick a customer. So you'll see that the company chain field is back because um, that security role for the clerk gives her permission back to that. So when you're looking at a user, you need to look at um, the relevant related roles that might be associated with other people as well um, and choose the most appropriate role that you're going to edit. But that's a quick walkthrough of overriding field level security for specific security roles.